Hey, you. All right, so first off, I'd like to start with a question. You guys ever walk in a room and feel like you're like the dumbest person? Well, I do, and I'm going to tell you a story about something really dumb that I did last summer. So we were going to go tubing, and I was, I was going to wear these shorts, but I was like, oh, they're a little big, but they look good on me, so I decided to wear them. Anyway, anyway we get out, and we go out on the water, and I get on the tube. It was fine at first, but then my grandpa did this thing called the slingshot, and uh, it's going from 15 to about 25, and I'm holding on, right? One arm lets go, I have one arm, and then I just let go, I couldn't hold on anymore. Anyway, I swim to the water, and I realize I don't have any shorts. <laughs> I, I am butt-ass naked in the middle of Party Dam. Just swimming around naked. A couple boats drove by, asking me for help. Nope. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. It was just a bad experience overall. I will never wear loose shorts. Did they swing around and find them or did they sink? No, I had, they, I had to wait 15 minutes just swimming naked in Hardy Dam for another pair of shorts. So. I'm sorry, that's kind of yeah. funny, dude. It was, it was, it Lucky was a fish wasn't swimming by. I might have thought Man. a little minnow. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to get on with my, my speech. This is me. So I have some pictures of me when I was younger. There's me when I was first born. <laughs> there was there was a little something extra right there, but I had to cut it off. You know what I'm saying? But uh, oh I was born God. in the Baptist Hospital. I was 10 pounds, so I was I was a big baby. And uh, there's me right there. I like that. There's my cousin too. I like to say like I'm coming to fix all your guy problems with that picture. You know what I'm saying? It looks looks like I'm fixing stuff. Safety know? glasses yeah. on, getting ready to drill. And then there's me when I was about five. Is that I, an actual I, real snake? Yeah, it's a little gardener snake. Dead? No, I was like plain dead. Really? Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to put this under my nose, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I always loved reptiles when I was a little kid. I was so fascinated with them. And there's me, my lion's uni, you know. I, I still love the lions. Back when I was a little kid, actually, I used to cry a lot because the lions were a <laughs> terrible team. They sucked. But now it's it's good to see them because they're a good team. And I'm rooting for them this, uh, this week. My family. There's my family at church. We have my dad. I love that guy. He's my hero. He, uh, he's taught me pretty much everything I know, all the morals that I have. My mom, love her death. She is the nicest person ever uh, until you make her mad. Then she's she brings out another side you don't want to see. A lot of moms sister, like that. My oldest too. sister, you guys might know her. her. Name's Natalie. She got married two years ago now. You like her husband? No, I don't like him. I wonder. It's usually hard. Yeah. Uh, this is my middle sister. Her name's Rylan, and then Josie and Olivia, and there's that goofball me. And then this is at my sister's wedding, same people, and that's her husband, Josh. I don't like him. <clears throat> the worst point of my life, right there. I was 5'6", 200 pounds, <laughs> a chunker, and I loved Wendy's. I think I went there like every day at Great Wendy's food. Theater. Man, I, I, I was there every day after school. And there's me, again, with Wendy's lettuce in my mouth from a chicken sandwich. <laughs> And then there's me again. You can tell I love fast food at KFC. I love fast food. I was always eating all the time. You hate that. Overcoming adversity. Here I am now. Uh, I think I look pretty good. Better than what I did in those pictures. Now you count your macros, your calories? Yeah, I, do all, I do all of that. Okay. And, and then I have these other pictures of me looking pretty good, I'd say. And my broken leg. So... I have a story to tell about this. We were at Kent City playing a football game my 10th grade year. Six seconds left in the second half. We run a play. I break my ankle on the last play of the half. Just stupid, this, this stupid call. I, I was, I remember I was, that was one of the lower points in my life. I really couldn't do anything and it sucked. It sucked a lot. There's me in the locker room for the, I'm pretty sure it's called like the pretty princess thing. We had to walk out there. I didn't end up doing it, but I found that in there, so I just put it on. I have my broken, my cast right there. Thank you for me. sharing that image with us <laughs> that we can like now that. not unsee ever. <laughs> There's me. My, uh, that was a day after I broke my ankle. I still went to the homecoming dance. Good for you. In which, 
I liked it because I didn't have to do anything, but all the girls came to me still, so. Oh, jeez. It, it was pretty good. All pretty you need is a puppy. And there's my leg after I took Atrophy. my cast off. Look how small my leg looks, dude. Atrophy. Man, it's nasty. Don't be taking any pictures on my feet now either, all right? <laughs> and here are my hobbies. I love to fish. I'm always doing it. That's at my campground, Big Ben. Nice small mouth I caught. I think it was four pounds, 21 inches, something like that. And then there's the first ever buck I shot with my bow. I actually had to shoot it standing on one leg because I had a broken ankle. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a very fun time actually. And there's me <coughs> out at Big Bend again. I caught those two walleye. It was pretty nice. Uh, they tasted good too, so. Yep. My love. Most of you guys think I'm talking about a girl when I talk about my love. No. Football. That's my love. Uh, I've always been, I've, since I was little, I've been playing football. Uh, from kindergarten till now, I've been playing. But I did go to Cedar from kindergarten all the way until seventh grade. Then they wouldn't allow us to play rock and football anymore going to middle school, so I had to move here. Uh, there's me again at Kent City. I'm a running back. Right there, I actually ran through that guy. I think it was like a 15-yard run cool. or something. But yeah, I'm a running back. There's me, at, that was at, against Lakeview, and uh, I think we lost that somehow. We definitely lost that game, I don't know how. And then, there's another love, I love lifting. That was the first time that I ever hit, I think it was 245, you can see Zade Gear in the background. How much did guy. you weigh? I think I weighed like 160 there or something. Seriously? Yeah. So you're about plus 85, that's nice. And I'm benching 275 now. How much you weigh? 190. So you're plus 85. Yeah. Nice job. I, I, I just love lifting. It's brought me so many great characters. It's taught me so many things. It's Discipline. Just, yeah. It's a great thing. And uh, that's the end of my, my speech. That's me. Cool, dude. Well done. <laughs>